In this video, we're going to look at CrossFit Nexus, and I'm just going to go through all the different things that make your site. So we'll start by going to the URL and slash WP dash admin you add to the end. And then this is where we'll log in and you'll get your own username and password. And you'll put that in there and then this will log you in. So what I'm going to do is go through these items here on the left hand side in the black column and that should get us through most of what builds your site. So we'll start here with updates. We regularly update all of the sites that we host so we have someone go through and select all the plugins and update plugins. And you virtually never have to worry about this if you don't want to. You don't have to worry about it at all. So we can take care of that but if if you want to update that you can and that's how you know and you'll just know that's where it is so posts will be next and this is where you would create new blog posts so we'll look at one that's already created just to kind of see how this one works and so you would give it a title here and then your content would go below and this works basically, this works the same way as all of our pages and everything in that you can format it like any word processor. So bold, italicized, bullet, number, you can change the size of the font, those kind of things. And then the categories for your blogs are over here and so you'll select which category it works with and then you'll set the featured image here by clicking select featured image and then you'll upload files here by dragging them or selecting them and then set featured image and so if you ever want to edit this post this is where that's located and you can click update if you make any changes or add new and then the word publish would be right there and you would just click publish or you could save it as a draft if you'd like to do that as well and those will just show up once they're published and they'll show up in the right place. So, and you can hyperlink kind of like you can see there's a hyperlink down here. So set up a time to meet. So then if you, whatever words you want to link, you would just click here and then you can choose a page from your website, click it, add a link, and then you can also remove it. Or you can copy and paste a URL to an external website if you'd like. Those are the main parts of a blog that should really get you where you need to be. You can add photos even within your posts in addition to the featured image if you're into that, if you want to do that. And that's basically, that's what you need to know for posts. So let's look at media. And this is just where all of your images and if you have any PDFs or logos that's where this, these are located you can add new media here or you can just see what you have here and that's what media is next is forms and this is what creates your forms you are using some external <coughs> things to create forms and so it looks like we don't have any here so we don't need to talk about that pages this is obviously going to be the pages that create your site and all these different pages within your site and so we'll look over the home page first and then I'll kind of go through some of the other pages to show you how it works so when you go into pages these are all of them and then you'll see this is the front page so this is this the very front page of your site which was titled home page and it's in all these different sections as you can see they are in different sections so it looks just like those sections when you get to this page as well so you can see that it's in sections so in the very first section we have a if you click this button here you can see there is a title for this section and that doesn't show up on your site this is what shows up on the site and right here is just short code for a revolution slider which we created which creates this right here so all there is a short code on that page and so then we've got our next section we'll click this arrow so we can see it and there's our wording for the nexus difference and so you can see it's right there and then if you click on it 
not like that, but if you click on it here and format, it's formatted as white text. And if you keep scrolling down below, then we've got the picture that's in the background and then there's a color overlay. So the background color, you can copy and paste this color code because it's the color as well as the transparency of that color and how deep it is and how much you can see through it. So it's just an overlay over the color and you can still kind of see the picture. So it looks super nice like that. So if you ever want to change out the picture, that's done here. You can change it, the color, that's done here. And then the rest of the stuff, you don't really need to worry about because it's a full width section. And you probably won't be changing these things, but if you do want to change the wording, that's right there and that's good to know. The next section is just a plain background with a button and that's done right here by this is formatted as a button and then it's hyperlinked to where you want it to go and this is just a plain transparent background it's just white and a full width section as well so nothing else you need to worry about there and then all of these little sections are there has been some code added to these so if you change anything on these it might change the way that your website looks and so you'll just want to be sure you're careful with what you change but if you do want to change the wording that's pretty simple pretty self-explanatory and that's where these are all located one out of four two out of four and then if you scroll down you can see the background color which you can copy and paste and use somewhere else if you want to use that same color code and you can see it's one fourth of a width of a section and then also all of them are the same height So that's where that is located. And like I said, you can kind of see by this title, which doesn't show up. That's just to help you when you're going back and looking through the site. And okay, so then this steps is functions basically the same way and it's third in thirds. And so you've got some words, you've got a button hyperlinked and you've got one third section and the height is 420. And so that's going to be the same on all three of those sections. But if you do want to change the wording on any of that stuff, you can see where that is. And then that's your whole page. <clears throat> this is in the footer and I will show you where that is because it's on every page. But that's everything on the home page. So if you want to add more sections, basically my thought for you, my instruction for you would be you want to duplicate what you've already seen so basically take a section and if you want to create another section that looks just like this all you'd have to do is look at how this one's done and so copy the text exactly the same format it as white text put a picture in the background copy and paste this color code and then make sure everything here is set up exactly the same and then you could have another section like that on your homepage. Obviously, you're happy with the way your homepage looks and you don't want anything else there. So that's totally fine too. That's just if you decide you want to add more to your homepage. That's where all that's located. And if you have if you end up running into some questions and have questions about it, you can let us know. And so then all these other pages function the same way. So these two items are going to appear on every page and so they won't be on the bottom of the page, but let's take a look at, let's take a look at the personal training page. That's this programs page. You can see it says personal training right here. So it's kind of got this extra section and then your meet the coach option at the bottom. So how this works is we've got our main text section, which is all right here. Boxes. So then this is all formatted for you. But if you want to change the wording, this is where that's located. So you know, and then again, these are hyperlinked as, and set as buttons here. So you can change those right through here and then this right here is the shortcut short short code excuse me for putting them into thirds of columns and so you won't want to mess with that you'd only want to change the actual text and then the meet the coach section here is if you look at the visual side of the editor visual and text you can see we have the text here and then it, you can see what it looks like and then in the text side of the editor is where we copied and pasted that 
code. So if you copy and paste it in the visual side, it won't work. You have to put it in this side. So if you have, if you end up making more things where you have those codes, then that's where that's located. And then each of those pages has a featured image up here, and that's changed and edited through here, just like your blog was. So basically every page works that way. Some have, so it looks like this is the same page as the personal training page, and some have sections and some don't. So this one's going to have two half width sections. So this is the nutrition page. So let's just look at it. Yeah, it's this page. So nutrition services, you can see we've got the text and the picture within. You've got your featured image over here. Uh, the video description right here and then again this stuff is formatted down here there's not really any formatting other than a f one half width of a section and then it set at 420 and then the video this is the same thing with the text editor you've got to put your embed code in the text side of the editor not the visual so that it will work and then you can change the width of that video and the height of that video in pixels or set it to 100% which is what we have here and then there is a background color you can see that and you can copy and paste it and get it from there see that it's set at 50 and the height of the section is 420 because it matches and then if we keep going we've got the words and then the code for the meet the coach so you've got that script right there from your acuity scheduling. So that's where that can be changed and added. And again, that's done in the text side of the editor. So any, any page is gonna function like that with those sections. So this is the get started page. Let's look at that real quick. That at the top is done through revolution slider just like at the top of the home page and so it just has short code for that slider so I'll talk about the slider revolution when we get down to that but that's where that's located so let's move on I think that's really gonna get you set up for pages and updating and changing things as you need comments are for blogs and those are disabled right now so there is no ability to comment on blogs unless uh, if you want to change that we can so let's talk about staff members looks like we've got two separate sections here and you can add more as you add staff and want to and then this this name here is just what helps you see who is who and then if we scroll down here That's what name will appear on the page, and then the position is here, and then the biography. And so this is pretty self-explanatory. You can add an email, phone, and then the staff image. And so that's all really simple. You'll click update if you make any changes, and you can reorder them through there. And let's see, meet the coaches. This is all set up for you, so you don't have to change anything on these pages if you end up wanting to change the text that's where that's located table press is next and that is what we use to create membership and rates so that's what's used to create these here and we've got those set up for you so you'll see rates here so I'll click on it and we've got a name for the table and then we've already set it up as a four column and then with all the right number of rows. So you can copy the table if you want and then that way you, you have some, if you start making changes, you would still have the original and you wouldn't mess it up because it can be kind of confusing 
But this is where all of this is located. And so if you want to change any of the wording or if you need to change the pricing, that's where that's located. And then the short code for that table is located here. So then you would copy and paste that onto the page wherever you wanted to use it. That's how it's set up in that little section. And if you want to mess with this here, like I said, table manipulation, so selected rows, hide or show, selected columns, duplicate, insert, delete, all of that's pretty self-explanatory. Add a row, add a row or a column, and then you can kind of mess around if you need to add another layer of that to your rates. And so if you'll look back here, you'll see the short code is up here in the corner, so table ID, and you can see which one is being used on the page by going to pages and then looking and seeing if it's table two or three. So that's the main things with tables. If you run into some questions again, let us know. And that's the only place that that's used is on that page. But you can add a new table if you'd like, if you find that you need to do that and always save your changes. Moving on, Genesis is the next thing here. And that is the WordPress theme for your site. Don't need to worry about anything there. Under appearance, we'll talk about a couple different things. Widgets and menus. So widgets we'll talk about first. This is kind of what creates the header and footer of your site and what's up at the top and bottom. So obviously there is a logo, that's the word, logo, and a menu at the top of your site. And then there's all of this stuff at the bottom. This ready to make a change, Google Map, your CrossFit logo, and another menu. So this is where your logo is is located. If you need to change change this out, you can. And then just make sure you link it to your website there. And then a navigation menu is just your homepage menu. Very simple. I'll show you how we add and remove things from the menu. But that's right there. Nothing in the sidebar. So in this footer, ready to make a change, that's where... That's where you're ready to make a change. This item is located. So this is the text there. And if you end up wanting to change the background of the picture that's done through code, and if you end up wanting to change the style of that, you can let us know. And this is basically set up the same way that's, that's formatted as a button, and it's hyperlinked to the No Sweat intro, and yeah, if you make any changes, you'll want to click Saved. And beneath that, you'll see you've got the map plugin, and so it's just a map plugin. You don't have to do anything with that. And then beneath that is the visual editor which ha lets us have the wording here with the email and the phone number. So that might be important to you if you ever need to change these words, the email or the phone number. That's where that's located and you'll just want to click saved if you change anything. And here is where your CrossFit logo is located and then again the black in the background is done through code. So if you need to change that, that'd be something you might need some extra help with. And beneath that is your final navigation menu. And so basically the only things you might want to change are some of the text there. And so that shows you kind of how to do, how to do that. Next up would be menus. And under menus, Everything's already in a great position for you. If you end up wanting to change things or move things around, you can 
change the navigation label here. You can remove the item. You can drag these to different places. You can make them sub-menu items. So whenever you create a page, it shows up over here. So you can either view all or search. Look at most re what's most recent. If you just created the page, it'll show up right here. You'll select it and you'll click add to menu and it will show up over here. And I think that's all you have is pages as menu items. So there's nothing special or hard there. It's just if you create a new page, it's done through there. there. And then, like I said, you can drag these into different orders and then just click save. So underneath that, we have plugins. That's what's, what all of these items are that I'm going through. They're plugins that were used to create your site. So nothing we need to talk about there. Under users... I don't want to make any changes. So under users, this is where your username and password is located. So in here, if you want to change your password, you would change it right here. And you just want to make sure it's very secure so that you don't compromise your site at all. So just make sure it's a really, really strong password. And you can also create a new profile, add a new user, and make a new administrator on there if you would like to. That's where that's located. Tools and settings and custom fields, SEO, not things we need to worry about or talk about. Duplicator was used to launch your site. Instagram feed we used initially, and I believe we took the Instagram feed off of your homepage, so that was a plugin that was installed that we're not using. So underneath that is Slider Revolution, and that's what is used to create those slides on the homepage as well as the Get Started page. So these are both sliders, and you'll see that there are two sliders here and then in the in body page we also created one so for the home page slider I'm just going to show you some of the basic elements of it I don't foresee you wanting to change this too often or at all so if you want to change out this photo in the background you can change it out through the media library by selecting a photo here and you can put a new photo there if you would like to and so this is using a static layer so we'll click on this static layer here and you can see it without the picture behind it or you can see it with the picture behind it by clicking here and showing it on slide one. So if you want to change the wording just double click on it change the wording you can change the size the font weight you can change the font you can change the color and then this is going to have an action and it's linking to the appropriate page And then this is set so that it scrolls down to the rest of the site. And if you do change anything, you just need to go through each screen size and make sure that it fits within these borders and boundaries here. And then click save each time. You can also preview the slide to see if it looks how you want. If it'll load here. <clears throat> and you can see the animation and see and make sure everything fits okay. And animation is done by clicking on one of these items and changing the animation through here and then you you change how long it lasts by dragging these out again I, I'm not going to go into too much detail I don't foresee you changing a lot of these or changing them at all really I'm just kind of showing you where these items are so that you know so if you want to change out the photo in the background, that's super easy. That can be done through here. And so like I said, you can change the text if you want to. And then these, if you want to change the text on these, you can change that as well. And then these are linking to the appropriate pages. And then they fit nicely within each screen size for you. And then this... This slide is on that body fat scan page, so it's done so that it can be 
animated. That's the word I'm looking for. So that's animated for you. And if you'll look at slider settings, that's where you can get the short code from, from all of these. Through right here. And that's your short code. You copy and paste that wherever you're going to end up using this slider. And those are all copied and pasted, obviously, in the right place, right places on the site. So we'll move on. WordFence is something that protects your protects your site that you don't have to worry about. We worry about Word WordFence notifications, and then Google Maps is the next thing to worry about and think about. And that's what creates that map that was put in the footer of your site in the widgets, and. If you need to manage your location, if you need to change your location out, you can change out the location here by typing in the new address. And if you want to, then you would just save location. There's nothing real else you would need to change. You could change the title. And then if you want to manage the map, you can change the width or height of that map, the zoom level. And then if you created a new map, it would be located here. So probably not a whole lot that you need to know or fix there. The only other thing I realized I don't think I mentioned, I'm going to go back to posts, was categories. And that's how you would add a new category for your posts. You'd give it a name. You can give it a parent category if you'd like. And then you would just click add category and it'll show up right there for you. So I think those are the main things that are really going to help you get started on changing and editing things on your site. Let us know if you have questions and if you need help with something and we will direct you the right way. So we're glad that you are happy with your site.